Have a bench that you want to put outside? In this video, we'll share one great way to paint a wooden bench for outdoor use. I cannot believe that it has been over five years since I built this bench out of a headboard and footboard and some pine wood. Now I'm finally ready to paint it. First, I cleaned it off with some crud cutter and an old damp rag. We have to get all of the grease and grime off before doing anything else so the paint and stain will stick properly. Then I filled in the pocket holes that I had made when I built the bench. I used my favorite quick wood filler to fill them in so I wouldn't have to fill them multiple times or wait days for it to be dry. While I waited for the quick wood to dry, I sanded the raw pine wood smooth. We used the bench for a couple of years as a bench in our mudroom so it looked decently dirty. I started with 80 grit sanding screens, then used 150 grit sanding screens to make it feel smooth again. The sanding screens are my favorite type of sandpaper of all time, except for the foam pads. They last so much longer and sand faster than anything else. And then I took a break for a couple of months. I was so overwhelmed by all the things I needed to do on this piece, so I took a break. When I got back to work on it, I sanded the quick wood smooth with 80 grit sanding screens. Then I realized that the pine had a lot of imperfections, gouges, and knot holes that should be filled anywhere that I planned to paint. So I filled those in with this plastic wood filler and waited for it to dry. Then I sanded the wood filler down flush with a medium grit foam pad so I could easily sand the curved edges on the posts. I removed all of the dust with a vacuum and brush attachment. And then we moved the bench out to the garage for this next part. I mixed mineral spirits into some heirloom traditions all in one stain in the color walnut. The mineral spirits thinned out the gel stain a little bit so it would be easier to work with on the raw wood. This was my first time using heirloom tradition stain and I have to say it worked pretty well. It's an all in one stain so there is a built in top coat. It is also oil-based, flammable, and stinky, hence why I moved outside to use it. I also tested it out over the existing walnut finish and it matched perfectly and made the old finish look new again. I let the stain dry overnight and I made sure to lay my stained rags and brush outside to dry completely before throwing them away to prevent any fires from happening. I ended up staining the seat of the bench three times so the raw wood had a thick coating. I'm planning to have this bench outside so I want to give it the best chance of holding up as I can. Each time I stained, I used a chip brush and some lint-free rags to apply a very thin coat. And I let it dry for about six hours between coats. Then I let it dry over the weekend before bringing it back inside and taping off the seat as carefully as I could while praying Please be a good tape job. Please work. I mixed up some Heirloom Traditions paint in the color putty into my Wagner paint sprayer. This paint is also an all-in-one paint that has a built-in top coat and primer. It's very durable and actually doesn't need the surface to be sanded before using it, which is amazing. It creates a beautiful finish if thinned out with 20% water and then sprayed on with this sprayer. I sprayed on one coat all over and let the paint dry for a couple of hours. When I came back, I saw more imperfections in the pine wood, so I filled those in again with wood filler and then when it was dry, I used this new to me little mini hand sander to sand the wood filler smooth. and then I cleaned up the dust again. In the process, I found some bleed through. I knew I was being lazy when I skipped priming, even though I was using a light color and I just hoped it would work out, but it came back to bite me. So we moved it back outside and sprayed a couple of light coats of clear shellac onto the bench. Yes, this paint has a built-in primer, but it's not a stain blocking primer. So. 
When painting light colors on wood, there is always a chance of bleed through. We let the clear shellac dry overnight and then finally got the last coat of paint on the next day. And then the most satisfying part, other than seeing the before and after, I removed the tape and plastic to reveal what it looks like now. Why did I wait five years to paint this thing? It looks so much better now, of course. Now for the fun part. We're going to put this outside once the paint and stain cures, and we'll see how it holds up. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to see more of our videos. Want to turn your hobby into cash? Click the link in my comments to download the free pricing guide that we use to buy and sell furniture.